Hello and welcome to Shoe TV News, live with me, Lucy Pennyfold. And me, Alice Fox. First up, students in Sheffield are getting themselves involved in a futuristic new study. Victoria Wyatt reports. This gloomy Yorkshire city may not be the first place you think of when robotic engineering is mentioned, but think again. We're here at the university where unique studies have got students paving the way for the future. Sheffield Hallam has undergone a multi-million pound redevelopment. The Eric Mensford building is now the home to automation and robotic research. Around the building, you may come face to face with some fascinating projects, like the friendly robots that hang out around the cafe. This is one of the four robots that are being used to study the social interaction between the students and the robots. We speak to the creator, master's student, Alexander Lucas. So what you see here is a long-term trial we are doing at the moment in the university. So our goal is to kind of designate, as you can see by the white tape, a certain area and then put a robot there. So if you've seen this beforehand, there was uh, two different robots. Now it's the third one. So we are studying how actually the presence of robots affects the people. So how do they move? Do they change the moving patterns? Do they, I don't know, uh, see the robot? Do they not see the robot? Do they interact with the robot in any way? So yeah. So based on this, we will publish some papers, hopefully, later on. The department has allowed thousands of students to fulfill passions in science and engineering as well as putting Hallam on the map by contributing groundbreaking research to the field. It is the first university dedicating a department solely to artificial intelligence, allowing students to collaborate across various courses and even study a master's in robotics. It doesn't seem long before robots become part of our everyday, but for now, I don't know about you, but I get the feeling I'm being watched. Victoria Wyatt, Shoe TV. If you live in the city centre, you may have noticed one or two new barbershops cropping up. Lucy investigated the growing trend. Eight barbershops, one street. Here in Sheffield, barbershops are on the rise as men's grooming has soared in sales across the world, with the market value going up in the UK by £34 million since 2012. Companies like Chambers have seen the success of it, but it's the old-fashioned chain barbershop that placed a real threat in small cities like Sheffield, with many being on the same street. It's the small independent businesses like Chambers that are the backbone of our economy, but with competition all around them, how do they keep on their feet? Guys aren't just having short back and sides anymore, they're having long hair, they're having short crops, they're even having head shaves with a fade on the sides. So with, with the massive variety of what everybody's getting, it's kind of keeping us a little bit more busy. With Chambers having a modern twist on the barbershop style, attracting students as a client base is one of their main priorities. By offering student discounts and privileges, they managed to do just that, keeping the business rolling. Lucy Pennyfold, Shoe TV. Now this next story gives a whole new meaning to the term ghost train. Unbeknown to most, everyday trains are travelling across the country with empty carriages, all because of a 200-year-old Act of Parliament, otherwise known as Parliamentary Trains. This service was required to allow lower class people cheap rail fare. Since 2005, Sheffield has proudly held the title for being the greenest city in the country. However, this could all be about to change. Over the past year, the, the battle to save the trees has been in full swing, following protests and campaigns on Facebook. The £2 billion project started initially to get rid of diseased and dying trees, which has been postponed until further notice. Next on Shoe TV, we've got the weather with Charlotte Wilson. It's 11 degrees here in Sheffield today, and as you can see, it's cloudy at the moment. So 
Tonight we'll be seeing light rain and lows of 6 degrees, although this will be continued throughout the week. Thankfully we'll be seeing a dry 15 degrees at the weekend, so people can really start their summer. Let's hope it gets warmer this summer. No way, I got burnt last year. I'd rather keep the snow, thanks. Anyway, that's all folks. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>